Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Luke 12, 27. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. And we'll start with the sun. And I've never seen anything like this. It's off the charts, family. Echoes from a far side sunspot. There's a sunspot on the far side of the sun so large that it's affecting the way the sun vibrates. And it says they recorded a magnificent full halo CME emerging during the late hours of September 5th yesterday, family. And it says that it will hit Venus on September 7th. And when you scroll down, it says the source of the explosion, probably an X-class flare, definitely an X-class, is probably old sunspot 3088. Well, here's why that's so gigantinormous. In Strong's Greek Bible Concordance 3088, the definition is lamp. So check your oil family and keep your lamps burning brightly because right there it says a oil-fed portable lamp usually set on a stand. And when you go to Hebrew, the definition for 3088 is the Lord is exalted. The Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. In English, the language that most of us speak. And in Greek, Jesus, he's coming to get us. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Psalms 110, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And Yeshua, Jesus Christ, said, Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And when you back up to Luke chapter 17, he tells you what it'll be like when he comes. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Catch it, family. They planted. And I've went over this. But if you're not aware, we're in the Shemitah right now. As you can see, it says the year 5,782 on the Jewish calendar. September 7, 2021 to September 26, 2022. It ends on September 26th on Rosh Hashanah, family, the Feast of Trumpets. And right below that, you could see what happens during a Shemitah year. This year is what's known as a Shemitah, or sabbatical year, which occurs every seventh year. Now, the Torah states for this year, all Jewish-owned land in Israel is not to be worked, to be left fallow. Anything that grows there should be given away. Also, at the end of the year, the Shemitah, all debts are to be forgiven, and I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit right now. My hair is standing straight up. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And as you can see right here, it says, order a tree now that it will be planted right after Shemitah. I'll run it back. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. And that's why I just went over all of that. And that's why I've been going over it all year, family. And now we're in September. Summer is almost over. And there's a lot of brothers and sisters that are following Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of brothers and sisters that are following everyone and everything that everyone says. But we're only following Yeshua, what he said, the bread of life, the rock, our foundation. And I don't even know how many comments we received and emails, but it was a lot saying that we would be gone. We won't make it past spring. Well, it's the end of summer, family. And the biggest signs of the year are approaching us right now. 
And even though for a fact, I know that Jesus Christ is showing us November 8th, 11-8 and 11-11, we're still going to keep watching every hour. That's what I do every day, family. And I've been waiting to put out a video when something gigantinormous is taking place. And it's creeping up on the world right now. The signs and the sun, the moon and the stars. And sudden destruction. And the rapture. Our escape. Us being caught up to heaven to be with Yeshua forever. And this article ties into it all and I'll show you how. On the Times of Israel, it says, standing next to an F-35 fighter jet, Lapid issues warning to Iran, don't test us. Well, here's what's gigantinormous about this. The fighter jet is number 926. And Strong's Bible Concordance for 926 Greek is heavy. Usage, heavy, weighty, burdensome, lit and met, violent, oppressive. Imagine that. And when you go to Hebrew 926, the definition is to disturb, terrify. There's no coincidences. It's only God's odds that this fighter jet is saying 926 and the prime minister, the temporary prime minister, this man used to be a soap opera star, is saying, don't test us. And 926 this year, September 26, is right in the middle of Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. And I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit again, my hair standing straight up. All glory to you, Father Abba. We love you. In the Son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. So I'll take you right to where he said the signs would be. In the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And as you can see, the asteroid Yeshua is headed for the woman. And it's right next to the sun right now. Between two wandering stars, Mercury and Venus. And as you go through the days, you could see on 9-11, Yeshua and the sun are lined up. And as you keep going through the days, you can see Mercury headed towards Venus. And they're both headed towards Yeshua. And as you go through the days, you could see right there when Rosh Hashanah starts, the Feast of Trumpets. Remember the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars? Well, there's the sun with the moon, with the stars, with the asteroid Yeshua, right on top of the woman, right by the arm, right where people are getting vaccinated. And we'll zoom in for a better look. And when you go to September 26th, you can see that the asteroid Yeshua is right between what they call Venus and Mercury. And all glory to our Father, remember we showed you the cloud. It's called Nephele, Strong's 3507. That's the definition, a cloud. And when you scroll down, it's the cloud that the Israelites followed through the wilderness. It's Jesus Christ. Speaking through the cloud, coming on the clouds of the sky, coming on the clouds of heaven. Well, on Rosh Hashanah, you could see Nephele headed for what they call Libra, the judgment scale. And as you go through the days and you get to the solar eclipse, right there, you could see the cloud. Nephele is almost to the scale. It's setting up everything. Follow the cloud family like the Israelites through the wilderness. And it will lead us to the biggest signs of the year. And I've showed you them. And I'll go over them real quick as you go through the days. We're approaching a total blood moon eclipse. 11-8. Nephele is right in the middle of the scale. Next to Venus, under the Sun and Mercury conjunction. And right there on 11-7, you can see Mercury approaching the Sun, and they're both approaching the scale. And as you go through the hours, you can see the conjunction take place as this wandering star goes into conjunction with the Sun, Right there, 11-8.
And at the exact time, under what they call Ares, they call this false god, the god of war, right under what they call Ares, the moon is going into conjunction with Uranus, which, is, which means heaven, the heights. And when you go to the third hour of 11.8, the moon turns to blood, a total blood moon eclipse lined up with Uranus. And when you go three days ahead to 11.11, Cheshbon 17, the anniversary of Noah's great flood, this year only, you could see the moon is in conjunction with Mars, the red planet. And as you go through the hours, it just gets closer. And when you go back to the sun, and what they call Mercury, this wandering star, the conjunction when it happens. You can see the asteroid Babylon right there, family, headed for the judgment scale. This is the most gigantinormous signs of the year. They're the most gigantinormous signs I've ever seen. And we'll zoom out. So you can see the scale, what they call Libra. And the wandering star, Venus, is right inside of it. As you go through the days and you get to 11.11, you can see if you go through the hours, 11.11, Cheshvan 17, when the Great Flood started, the asteroid Babylon goes into the scale exactly on 11.11, family. Look at this. Right there. Asteroid Babylon is now in the scale on Cheshvan 17. And Cheshvan 17, happening on 11-11, has not happened since 1957. And it will not happen again before the rapture. So on 11-8, November 8th, the total blood moon eclipse goes into conjunction with Uranus. And three days later, on 11-11, Cheshvan 17, the moon goes into conjunction with what they call the red planet, Mars. Both stars going into conjunction with the moon. On the same day is our national election. On 11-8, the total blood moon eclipse. That can only be God's odds. He designed that. And remember... The Israeli election for prime minister is on November 1st, and whoever wins has until November 15th to form a government. That means Israel will be without a government from November 1st to at least November 15th. And if you didn't know, the world leaders have been planning to divide the land of Israel for many years now. And when Netanyahu was prime minister for Years, he's been blocking the two-state solution until the president, Donald John Trump, talked him into doing it with his proposed peace plan. And we still kept blocking it. It was Ted Cruz that kept blocking it. Well, this year, he couldn't block it anymore. And it passed. Biden signed it. He went to Israel. That's what this is all about, family. I'm feeling his Holy Spirit right now. All glory to you, Father. This is all about dividing the land. And it looks like that's why asteroid Babylon is entering the judgment scale on 11-11. Because they're dividing the land of Israel. And they're planning to put a wall right through Jerusalem with the Muslims on one side and the Jewish people on the other. And that's why they've been annexing the land. Well, if you remember, right after Trump did this, COVID hit the whole world because the whole world, all the leaders are involved in dividing the land. And remember in our last video, I showed you this ribbon again that I found in our old family Bible from the 1800s. And it says, rally around the flag, boys, tonight, November 2D, 9th and J Street. Now I'm going to try my best to show you what I'm seeing and how this ties together with everything that's going on with dividing the land. But before I do, just a heads up, the signing of the Mayflower Compact was on November 11th. 
thus pledged 41 men on board of the ship Mayflower that day, November 11, 1620, having survived a rough 64-day sea voyage. And I'll get back into that if our father allows it. But it's deep. And speaking of dividing the land and sudden destruction, the Paris Peace Conference is on 11-11, family, chest bond 17. Imagine that. And you see their logo, uh, the olive branch with the OK sign, which is really 666. Well, remember the ribbon, J Street? I seen this right after our last video on August 25th, family. APAC attacks J Street for financial backing from billionaire George Soros. George Soros donated a million or more dollars to J Street. The J Street Action Fund has so far received one million from Soros. But it gets bigger. You can go to jstreet.org and this is what pops up the Two-State Solution Act. The Two-State Solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The dividing of the land, it's right here. And the bill is right below that at the bottom. Read the breakdown of HR 5344 on congress.gov. It's right here. Both sides are pouring money in to divide the land. Robert Kraft the owner of the Patriots football team, the NFL team, donates $1 million to APAC. George Soros pours $1 million into J Street. Kraft, a prolific donor to Jewish causes who gave $1 million to Donald Trump in 2017, is the sixth person to break seven figures in giving to APAC Super PAC. Meanwhile, Soros' donation was the single largest to J Street Action Fund which has spent $1.7 million this cycle. And there's a picture of Robert Kraft with Benjamin Netanyahu. And a lot of you are probably wondering what APAC is. The American Israel Public Affairs Committee is a lobbying group that advocates pro-Israel policies to legislative and executive branches of the United States. And J Street organizes and mobilizes pro-Israel, pro-peace Americans who want Israel to be secure, democratic, and the national home of the Jewish people. So just know, all the politics and the battling between the left and the right and Biden and Trump and all of this is all a smokescreen to keep people from seeing what's really going on, and that's them, the world leaders, dividing the land of Israel. Remember, they're all in on it. Obama tried to push the two-state solution and failed. It wasn't until Donald Trump came in and got Netanyahu on board. So Donald Trump kicked it off. And he also kicked off the vaccine, warp speed, and said it was a Christmas miracle. Then Biden got in there and pushed it harder than anyone. That's what all these elections are about. Israel going into their fifth election. It's all setting up the dividing of the land. And the reason why I'm going over all the signs and the sun, the moon and the stars and what's happening in the world is because we're moments away from sudden destruction and the rapture happening. And I want to encourage you. Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh lives inside of me. And he wants you to know he's coming to get us. Hold fast. It's going to get uglier. But remember, he said people will be eating and drinking and getting married. And buying and selling and planting and building. In the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So keep your heads up and your arms covered because we're approaching the Jubilee. So we're going home to heaven. And as you can see right here, it says this year is 5,782 divided by 49 equals precisely 118. So next year is the 118th Jubilee since the creation of the world. And remember, our brother said that Yeshua said, when you see this conjunction, know that he's at the door. Well, the conjunction's on 11-8, the same day as the total blood moon eclipse. The same day that the moon's in conjunction with Uranus. 
the same day that the sun is in conjunction with Mercury entering the scale. The same numbers as Christina's dream many years ago where no one could find 811 right to left. The same day as our national election right in the middle of Israel, whoever wins, forming a government. Three days before 1111 Cheshvan 17, the anniversary of the Great Flood. If you have the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, prepare for liftoff, family. We're about to fly home. <laughs>